Hi, happy Friday! I'm thinking about something recently and I really wanted to share it with, uh, with everybody. I went to a concert uh, this week. Um, I, w I went to see Celine Dion. Uh, she's an amazing, amazing singer. She gave a brilliant, absolutely spectacular performance. But something that struck me after that, um, it, was, it made me think about a lot of things. Uh, I was with a bunch of friends of mine, colleagues from work. Uh, we were at the O2 Arena, the VIP suits. Um, our company has a box there. Uh, we got sent. And we were discussing on the way back how the performance was. Everybody was super inspired. But then what struck me that everybody was comparing her to Adele. It was literally, yes, it was good, but Adele is different. And why? Because Adele is connecting to us, uh, she speaks better with the audience, Celine Dion sounds cheesy, uh, her jokes were not so funny, she sings well, but she's not fun. She, I can relate to Adele. Like, and I was thinking, like, really, do you, do you relate to Adele? I mean, they're both, like, amazing world-class performers. I, I found them both equally funny. Like, even Celine Dion was like actually surprisingly much, much more exciting for me. I mean, Adele is great, but they were both, they were both brilliant, you see, like in a different way. And then I started thinking actually, and I did a lot of uh, small research on, um, on Instagram, on YouTube, on Twitter. I just had a look at what both of the singers were sharing about themselves recently and in the last years. And what struck me was that uh, if you if you search for uh, Celine Dion on YouTube, uh, you will find interviews from 20 years ago and nothing recent. Like there is literally no presence about her. There is not no content shared by her channel. I don't even think there is an official YouTube channel for her. Uh, when it comes to Adele, like you will see a lot of stuff which is like two hours ago, like straight away. Even before the concert, um, Celine Dion was sharing some pictures on Instagram, which were great, but they were done by a professional photographer. Like, they was like the perfect light, black and white, like an artwork, uh, giving her in, in, the, in her perfect profile, her favorite profile. And that's what, what struck me actually, the more content you produce, the more um, kind of less, the less orchestrated your content is, the closer it is to, to real, to your real personality, to your real you, uh, the better it is, the more people feel that they can connect to you. Like, it's not that because Celine is less funny than Adele that people think that she, she's, she's, less, she's cold or uh, reserved or not as, as good in connecting with the audience. No. I think that it's purely because of her social media presence about it it all has to do with how often do you tweet what what do you say about yourself how do you how much noise do you make and how genuine you try to stay in the noise that you're making is it professional photos done by photographer or is it just like a selfie that you snapped in the morning um, and you you don't care that much I mean it can be done by a professional, it can be a selfie that's done in a really, really good way. But it has to feel as something that you've done yourself, as something natural, as something that everybody can relate to. This kind of, I can relate to this. Um, and that, that just opened the whole, whole discussion in, in my head and about how companies also talk to their customers. As you can see, a lot of uh, company profiles, they have these really brushed up, beautiful videos, no flows, no, no, there is no sense of humor, there is nothing really human left in, in that content. And, and this pushes people away. This is not what social media is about. This is not what digital marketing or marketing. I mean, there is no difference between digital marketing or marketing now. It's the same. It's, it's just marketing uh, is about. It's, it's actually giving this human face to a company, to a business, to a brand. Because these singers, they by themselves, they are a business. They are a brand. They are, they are a company. Um, so thinking about this, I, I thought that um, this is a way of us to, to present ourselves not in our best light. 
it, it doesn't have to be perfect. We can just document our process, as Gary V says, one of my favorite ones. Just just be who you are, or at least try to present it as if it looks that this is you, not your brushed out version of yourself. Have a nice weekend, that's all from me now.